In this Illustrator tutorial, let's take a quick look at the Live Paint Bucket tool. So because Illustrator is a vector program, you're going to have vector shapes. I have several vector shapes that are overlapping out here. You can see these circles and rectangles. Now, these overlapping shapes have their own fill color. However, there is a way to paint between all the overlaps and to kind of use a version of the Paint Bucket tool that you might be familiar with in Photoshop here in Illustrator. And basically what's going to happen is we're going to turn this into like a live paint group. And it tells Illustrator that this group is a certain thing, right? This group becomes its own little group and that we can use this paint bucket tool to paint inside of all the overlapping areas. So you can see all the different overlaps now that we have them all selected. So select all the objects you're wanting to uh, paint within, or maybe it's your entire design. And then we're going to turn it into a live paint group. Now, one of the first things we need to do is make sure we have the advanced tools set up. So you're going to click on this bottom three dots here at the bottom of your toolbar, come up here to the upper right, and you're going to click on that menu to find the advanced tool set. You might be on the basic tool set. You won't see live paint. So click on advanced. Now you'll still need to find live paint and we need to close out of this guy and click that three dots. You'll still need to find live paint. It's going to be under the shape builder tool. So we click and hold and we have a couple different ones here, but we'll just take a look at the live paint bucket for this tutorial. So we click on the live paint bucket and we have a couple different uh, swatches here and you can see on my actual swatch in my uh, toolbar here, I have a fill of black and that matches what's highlighted here on my cursor. If I press the right arrow, I move to the swatch to the right and then I could keep going through all these swatches. Now, where exactly are these swatches coming from? I'm going to press the escape key really quick. Actually, that didn't matter. But I'm going to come over here, uh, actually up to the window drop down, down to swatches. And we're going to pull open the swatches panel. And here's where you can see all of the swatches. So my live paint bucket tool has these swatches on it so I can see what I'm about to paint with. If I press the right and left arrow key, it moves me through the swatches in my swatches panel. So that's how that works. If you have a folder of colors you want to use, you can go through uh, and, and select that swatch folder and kind of go back and forth between the swatches. Or you can double click on this fill and make it whatever you want if you'd like and then press OK. So that's a different color swatch. Now my right and left doesn't work anymore but I did make a custom swatch. Now, if we click on any of these swatches in our swatches panel, it gets us back to being able to use those right and left arrow keys. So if you wanna set up custom swatches to be able to use the arrow keys, or if you just wanna select a new swatch on your own and then paint, you can do that. But since we have all these selected, as soon as I click, it'll make it a live paint bucket group. If I click this area up here, it's gonna apply that swatch up there. Now I could, use this swatch again or press the right arrow key and now I have a darker blue and I could click in here and paint that. So you can see how this is basically like painting uh, with the paint bucket tool in Photoshop, just using my arrow keys and kind of clicking through and creating these different colored areas. And anywhere that these guys are overlapping, I can just paint in here with the live paint bucket tool. Now what happens to all these shapes once I do this? If we click back on our selection tool, you can see that this is actually a live paint bucket selection. And you can see the selection up here uh, with the different type of bounding box that it has. And if you open up your layers panel, you'll see if I drop down layer one, I actually have a live paint bucket group right here as well. So we can still double click into this group and we can still move these objects around and resize them. And you'll see that as I move this around, it knows that what I defined is that this is uh, this teal or really light blue color. When it's outside the circle, if it overlaps the circle, it's going to turn to blue. And so no matter where we bring that, it's going to be able to do that. And we can even resize it and everything and move that around. Same thing for all of these shapes. This one knows when it overlaps this one, it should turn to yellow. When it overlaps over here, it should be green. So that actually gives you some interesting, uh, customizable, sort of like pretty cool live effect here 
with the paint bucket option. And then, you know, if your design was already created, you can actually just kind of use the live paint bucket tool to live paint any overlapping areas in your document. And that's how you can use the live paint bucket here in Illustrator. And if you want to get out of this isolation mode, you can just double click off of your artwork and it'll take you back to the first layer.